<laughs> Babe, don't be like that. Bro, I'm looking look terrible. You do not look crunchy. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back for another installment to the Home Saga. So, we are currently on our way down inside. <laughs> that volume. What you do your feelings? When was you driving the car at that volume? Don't worry about what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> We're headed to the new house. We got the opportunity via text, which is so funny. The Lord was on my side because I was being a punk and didn't want to ask. But the framing is up right now. I think I told you guys that the last vlog. And um, we wanted to write verses and stuff. Well, I had always wanted to do something like that when I built. And I was talking with my one of my friends this weekend about it. And he's like, you should just go over there and do it. And I was like, mm, I don't know how to feel about that. With it being condos, it felt illegal. Because <laughs> it's not like, you know, our freestanding place on its own lot. But then again, it's like, no, we paid for the lot. We paid for the condo. Anyway, so I felt weird about it and didn't know whether I should ask. So I just didn't. And then our home builder rep texted this yesterday and was like, hey, I have clients that sometimes like to come and write scriptures or write things on the foundation before like we finish construction. Or would you all you, be interested in it? Sorry, I wonder how you knew the access to it. The Lord. That's what I think. I think the Lord was just like, they need to do this. And she needed to know she allowed. So, he texted us literally randomly and yeah, he was like, I'm here today or tomorrow. Or, sorry, this was yesterday. So he's like, I'm there tomorrow or Tuesday, 10 to 6, if you guys want to come by. So I put a couple of Sharpies in my purse. I hope they last, because I know it's like, excuse me, I know it's like, not sawdust, but I feel like there's like that film on stuff. Uh, and I know that might dry the markers out. So we're going to try our best to get some scriptures down. If it absolutely doesn't work, I might just go back tomorrow with some new markers. Of course, I'll take you guys with me so you can see the process. And I'll do like a little, I think it's really cute to do like a little framing tour um, of the house. And then, of course, we'll show it when it's done. I feel like that'll be fun. Yeah, I want to do like some cute little transitions with the house unfinished and unfinished. But, I don't know. We'll have to think about that on the way there. But, this is the start to the vlog. Babe is not allowing me to put him in the vlog because, what was your description? I look crunchy. He believes he looks crunchy. So, <laughs> it'll just be getting me and maybe the back of his head while he writes a verse or two. But yeah, it's looking good so far. Yeah. That's so cool. Got the garage door in. And then this is the door that goes yeah, in. Yeah, so you'll have a cool. door attached to that that swings open. Cool. So, your HVAC, your water heater will go here. And then you'll have that additional storage. Oh yeah. And then there will be, eventually, they put like insulation between this and they put another firewall. Okay. Here. So okay. every part of the firewall has to be inspected. So that's that takes like weeks to get the entire thing done. Makes sense. But yeah, so that's the firewall. Is what looks wow. Like. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really coming together. And then this is like your um, your finished store. So this will be oh, yeah. all finished out. Um, and then we'll back more. Here, this is what will look like this. Yeah. <laughs> Be an actual yard, yeah. But yeah, so eventually it'll be graded down and you'll be able to just step out onto that. Um, there'll be grass and we'll all be even throughout. So. Whoa. Yeah. It's so crazy being in this stage. So this is really what the model home looked like at one point. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you got your laundry room there. Mm -hmm. Your half bath is right there. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they'll have like the rough mechanical, so you'll see like pipes sticking out. 
Yeah. Uh, rough electric. So it goes rough HVAC first, mm -hmm. then it goes rough plumbing, and then rough electric. Gotcha. Um, once they do that, then they're going to start the drywall. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the exciting part. Ah, it'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did. It's been listed for 10 or 12 days, something. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was trying to picture it. I think I remember. It's like the the sink. Area is like over here. Yes. Yeah, so okay. The tub goes all the way in the back. And yep. Your sink is like about right here. Yep. And then the toilet is right there next to it. Cool. So it's like a single bay would be right there. Gotcha. Yes. This one. I wish they would put it in the model home. Um, Hi guys, we're back now. Um, my phone, not my phone, my camera ended up dying while we were in there. Um, and it was super hot and we were just focused on getting the scriptures done so we could get out of there. <laughs> it was like 90 degrees today and you can definitely feel it those places. Um, obviously there's no air or anything yet so we were just baking up there it was like every higher level it's three levels total and that third level was hot so um we just focused on getting the scriptures down and we got to pray together um before we headed out so it was really cool very cool i don't even think it's fully hit me yet like the fact that we got to do that i've watched people do that on tv and on social media but to have the opportunity to do it for ourselves was like really, really cool. And to watch God so quickly turn around our situation and allow us the opportunity to build right now. Um, and in a like just safe, good neighborhood. And we got to drive around the neighborhood, which I actually know part of the area because one of our um, family friends used to live out there, um, near there. So um, refreshing kind of 
what I know about the area, learning more about it, um, and just kind of, again, taking it all in. It was very cool to get to do that. So, um, it also is very much a drive. It was so funny driving out there from here because it's like, I'm so used to everything being within like a 15 minute drive because we're so central to Columbus right now. And yeah, we will not be central anymore, but the areas are very developed um, outside of just Columbus and particularly the neighborhood we're moving into is very well developed. Um, like I was saying, they have tons of shopping and like all that kind of stuff within like, it says on Google, I think that it's six minutes away, but it didn't even feel like six minutes. It was very quick. I just figured I'd jump on it and tell you guys like what happened. I do have pictures of um, some of the scriptures and things that we put on the walls. And overall, we're just like, we're really excited uh, watching all this come together and seeing the Lord's grace. And it all, um, we have had, I think nine total showings of this house and haven't sold yet and uh, we have our inklings as to why which uh, I mean at this point I guess I have already told you guys that the location is not the best and I think that's gonna be kind of the thing that uh, makes it more challenging because otherwise I'm confident if, if our house was anywhere else like some people were bold enough to even say that like if this house was anywhere else it would be gone already like truly we probably would have waited to put it on the market because we would, we know it would have sold like very quickly. But um, I think that's the trust the Lord part of all of this, where it's like God is reminding me that we're not just out here making moves; we're doing things with Him and in accordance with His will. And what He set out for us to do is not just us selling a home and buying a home; like He's doing something through this. And so I have to trust that he has the plan. I have to trust that he has already prepared whoever is going to buy this place and that we don't have to worry about it and it's not going to be something that we have to, you know, create on our own. Like he already has set that person in place and so the timing will be right, the price will be right. So I'm just going to keep believing for that. That's all I have to hold on to right now. So that's a pretty good thing to hold on to, Jesus. <laughs> it's not all I have to hold on to, it's, it's the main thing. It's the, the only thing that really matters. Definitely learning to trust and it's stretching our faith, but in a very good way. I will say like in the practical, it's not the best to be living like kind of packed up or like walking around almost like a stranger in your own home so that we can keep the house nice for showing and stuff like that part is really challenging like we're both a little bit weird about transitions we've talked about like it's just transitions are not easy they're not really easy for anyone if we're being honest but um they're definitely just hard to wrap your mind around sometimes and like the shiftiness of it like you want to just be able to put your stuff where your stuff goes and feel settled and so I think that's my prayer right now in this season that the Lord helps us to not have to struggle through transition but to be able to enjoy it to the best of our ability and to not feel um, so many of the consequential things that we could feel so if you are looking for a way to join us in prayer and support us in this season um, I'm definitely asking for your prayers and support around just covering us in transition and making this as painless as it can be um you know as much as possible i know the lord works sometimes in some of those gross feelings and so i don't want to limit him um not that i can who am i i'm not powerful enough to do that but you know what i'm saying like in my mind i don't want to limit whatever it is that he um, is planning to do through this. But I do ask, like, we, we need a little bit of a soft landing right now. Like, we have um, put in a lot of work over the last year over our marriage and um, over our individual lives, over our careers. Like, that shift from 20s into 30s is, it's a shift. It's a world rocker. I mean, I can't speak for other people, but for us, it has been world rocking and so amid all of that you kind of just need a soft landing you just need um 
I don't know, you need something to like be able to rest on and just kind of enjoy and not feel stressed about. And so I am asking the Lord um, to allow that to be the season that it is just a lot more painless um, and and that we are able to find the joy in it. So, but appreciate you all partnering with us. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna put in this video. I will say, I think I am gonna go back to the house to, there's a couple more verses that came to my after the fact, and I was talking to my mom, and she said one, and I was like, I have to put that in there. So I might go back. I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to go back tomorrow, but I do think we have a little bit more time before they start actually like um, laying stuff down that would make it like impossible for us to um write more so i'm gonna try to make time for that this week to go again and just to worship and probably let out some tears you know like i had a lot i can tell i have a lot of pent up feelings and all of that around this transition in a good way not a bad way but just i think i just want to spend some sweet time with the lord um in the place so uh, obviously we were able to do that today with taking some time to write the verses but uh, like I said it was also very hot and <laughs> by the time we got done writing it was like alright you ready to go yes but I think I'm gonna keep that one personal I'm, I'm thinking I might record it but I might just kind of stay with Jesus and have some sweet time uh, with him in the place so very exciting stuff um, the place will be done September October time frame um, so yeah, like I said, I'll keep bringing you all along to whatever I can show you. And um, yeah, just keep us in your prayers. And I love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye.